All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at a very powerful feature that Moodle offers called Advanced Uploading of Files. And what this feature allows you to do is provide a place for your students to turn in any Word document, PowerPoint, Excel, uh, PDF, uh, video, so on and so forth. Essentially, if it's a file, it can be uploaded to this, uh, to this feature. And it's called Advanced Uploading of Files. This is one of those features where if you uh, know very little about Moodle, but you can master this element, uh, you can do a lot with Moodle in your classroom. This is also the feature that really turns your classroom paperless. Um, instead of having students print off, uh, say, Word documents and turn them into you, they can turn them in here. You can grade them, turn it back to them, and we're going to take a look at how to do that here um, in this video clip. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Turn Editing On. Then I'm going to scroll down to Add an Activity. Again, an activity is anything that students give a teacher. And it's the first option, Advanced Uploading of Files. Select that. We'll go ahead and name this. I'll just call this uh, World History Paper. Okay, we've named the assignment. Now let's take a look at some features. Uh, in terms of grade, I can simply set the grade right here. Let's say I wanted this to be worth 50 points. I can also set the availability uh, of this assignment for students. Um, if you set the due date here, it has a default due date set on it. You can disable it right here. Otherwise, you can choose the date that you want um, the assignment to be turned in. Uh, you can set it down again to the every five minutes. So you can be very specific as to the time you want the students to turn it in. And here, you have an option. You can either prevent late submissions, which means after the due date, the students can no longer turn in the assignment, or that, that would be set to yes. Or if you have this set to no, when the student turns the assignment in, every assignment is time stamped, which means you'll get, a feed, you'll get feedback as to exactly when the student turned the assignment in. If the student turns the assignment in after the due date, it will show up in red. So you can very very quickly tell who has turned in their assignment on time and who has not. Another nice thing about this is it eliminates uh, the problem sometimes that occurs when students don't put their name on their assignment. Uh, when they turn it in, it will be turned in to their name uh, very clearly. So that will be a, that's a nice feature, just one less, uh, one less problem that can come up. Okay, let's take a look at uh, some options in this section, advanced uploading of files. Maximum size. If you're having them turn in a video clip or an audio clip or something along those lines, you want to make sure that you allow them a lot of uh, space, a lot of size for the file to be turned in. Um, I just set this to default to 300 um, just to avoid any problems. Allow deleting. If you have this set to yes, a student can turn in an assignment uh, maybe they decide they want to make some changes on it. They can go back and then delete what they've turned in and then turn in a new assignment there. Okay, that's before the due date. Uh, so you can use that, not use that. That's what that'll do for you. Maximum number of uploaded files. The default set to three. Um, this is you'll want to use this if you're uh, if you're giving the student the students an assignment where they need to turn in multiple files. Let's say, for example, you're having them do a business card assignment where they need to turn in six different business cards on, on, a, on a different topic. Um, this will allow them to turn in multiple assignments to one spot in turn, instead of having a bunch of different spots they need to turn things into. Okay, um, So the default set to three if you need more. It's very simple to change that. I can change it to ten, whatever I'd like. Uh, notes. What notes do is they um, allow students to turn in something and then tell you something when they turn it in. So for example, they may turn in a paper and say um, something like, uh, I was up late working on this, uh, please give me a good grade, or something like, uh, um, I, w I did not understand uh, part three of the directions or whatever. It just allows them to provide feedback to you so you can use that feature and not use that feature. Um, 
high description before available date if you're using the I and you're keeping things closed uh, before you assign an assignment, given assignment, uh, you, you won't need to use this. The I's take care of this problem. Um, this feature right here um, can send you an email when the student turns the assignment in. Uh, currently that function is disabled. Um, in the event that it was enabled, um, when the student turned an assignment in, you get an email. Also when you graded it, your students would get an email as well. Enable send for marking. All that is is a button that after the student turns the assignment in, they click and it kind of gives them peace of mind that they've officially turned the assignment in. If you don't have this button enabled, it'll still turn into you, but in some cases the students are a little confused. Uh, did I turn this in? There wasn't like an official button to click that says, I've officially turned this in. That's all send for marking does. Uh, if you're using groups, you can just leave this setting as is, uh, visible groups, um, and that's it. Save and return to course. I'll go ahead and turn it off so you can see what it looks like. So the icon is a clipboard, world history paper, very straightforward. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, change my view to a student view so you can see what it looks like uh, from the student's perspective when they go to turn something in. So if I switch role to student, I've written my paper, I'm ready to turn it in. I'll click on this section right here. And what they'll see is a very simple uh, browse and upload feature. They just click browse, go find the assignment, upload the file. And actually, I don't think it'll let me do it because I'm, um, I'm a teacher. I don't actually have the file. Uh, but once they upload the file, the, the file will appear right here where it says no file submitted yet. There'll actually be the Word document icon with the name. And if you've enabled uh, deleting, there'll be a red X there. If not, then that won't be there. Now in the next video, uh, we'll take a look at how, as a teacher, to retrieve and then grade these papers. But this has been how to create the assignment and what the, it looks like from the student's perspective.